on ESPN. The men's 100 meters is next. Maurice Green has the fastest time in the world, 9.89 seconds. Running 9.91 earlier this year was Tim Montgomery in lane five. Dwayne Chambers won his share of races, Michael. Those guys have really been running well. They have, and the good thing is there is no Maurice Green in this race because as the world champion and Olympic gold medalist and world record holder, it forces you to focus on him even though he's not a factor. He's been a non-factor, but you have to focus on him. The great thing about this race is you focus on these two guys. They're side by side. Maurice Green is in between them, and they've been the most consistent this year. Green is in the stands watching. Tim Montgomery's in lane five. Chambers is in lane four. Very fast start. Out quickly is Tim Montgomery. Chambers beside him now. Montgomery with a slight lead. Montgomery by two feet, three feet. 9.78 seconds, a world record for Tim Montgomery. Sensational performance. The win. We'll check the wind gauge. 2.0 meters per second. That is the exact maximum allowable wind. It should be legal if the time stands up. It's unofficial. Wow. Damn, boy. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Nine, seven, eight. He got a great start. Unbelievable. This is why this is a world record. He gets a great start. It's a great transition from the start into his drive phase. And then because he's clear of the field at that point, he's able to, to transition from his drive into his running phase when he wants to instead of letting the race dictate that. And then at this point, he just does nothing to mess up the momentum that brings him to a world record. Michael, Tim Montgomery claims he has the fastest top end speed midway in the race and he showed it here well. Chambers pulled up and ran an excellent middle phase, and then he couldn't stay with the highest top end speed in the business right now, Tim Montgomery. The reason why he has the best top end speed is because he's very light on his feet. He's the exact opposite of Maurice Green, who's a very powerful runner. Tim Montgomery's not powerful. He's just very light on his feet, and he is technically excellent at this point. They have just posted what his reaction time out of the blocks was. You cannot be faster than one-tenth of a second. He was 1.04. He got the perfect start, maximum allowable win, and it is official. A world record for Tim Montgomery. Again, great start out of the block. Look at him already. At this point, this is the key. He is clear on the field. That allows them to run the race the way he wants to run it instead of having the race dictated. That's how world records are broken. When you can get out there and run the race the way you want to run it instead of racing against the field. Great way to close out our season on ESPN. Well, there's an awful lot of money going back to Raleigh, North Carolina. <laughs> Overall Grand Prix winners, 100-meter champions for today, and new world record holder Tim Montgomery. Man, we thought El Garuz was going to take away this title. You just stepped right in and took it all. It's unbelievable. That's all I can say is unbelievable. <laughs> Absolutely, that's all you can say. And Marion, you, all season, you've been winning all of your races. You probably figured a little while back that this is where you were going to be. But gosh, you've got to be so excited with how everything has gone today for you and your training partner and your camp. You know, a lot of people really overlook what we try and do in Raleigh. And I'm just extremely pleased that I could come here and finish the season and, you know, watch Tim do what he did today. It's really incredible. And, you know, Tim says unbelievable. And that's really the word to describe what we're feeling today. How are you going to top this for next year, Tim? 975. <laughs> big words, big words. And you, Mary, you're going to have to run a little faster to be number one in the house, huh? Without a doubt, that's good. That's going to push me to run fast. But, you know, my main objective next year is to regain that 100 meter world title and just keep it rolling from this point on. Congratulations, both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Tim Montgomery, by virtue of getting a world record, passes Sanchez and El Garouche and winds up the winner of this championship if you don't get a world record by Jonathan Edwards in the triple jump. We have to wait and see, but that's pretty amazing.